Hello, 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 Amazon. Happy Sunday. I honestly can't believe it's a holiday week. It's so crazy. This year has flown by despite it being like the craziest, longest year in the entire universe. Anyway, welcome to today's Plant Plates. I'm Jackie, co-founder of Plant Chicks. And if you are new to Amazon Live, just know that on our lives, this is beautiful. I love what Amazon is doing with these lives. There is a carousel, it's either below the screen what you're seeing or on the side. And I have all the products listed that we'll be using in today's live. Uh, also, my outfit. Actually, I just have my jeans. Our t-shirt is on our personal website, but I've got my jeans, they're super comfy. And instead of standing on my cushiony mat, I'm using, I'm wearing my super amazingly comfortable bionic shoes. And if you guys have, if you have a high arch, then these little flip flops are, will be your best friends. I cannot wear shoes that are completely flat, like those ballet slippers. They don't work for me because I do have a high arch. So I need arch support always, always in my shoes. So these bionics, literally are my go-to. I love, love their shoes. They're a little bit more expensive, but they are well worth the money. They last forever. Maybe not forever, but they do last a very long time. So there we go. All right. For today, we are going to use one of our all-time favorite, favorite kitchen appliances, and it's in the carousel. This is our Instapot. And Instapot, you guys, it's actually a Black Friday deal. It's linked in the carousel. You really want to get this. I use it almost every day. Definitely I use it every week. But I am going to be making some chickpeas. I actually even linked some organic dry chickpeas in the carousel as well. And you can just like flip through the little carousel and find everything. But what I'm going to do, so I actually, this morning I was up super duper early. And you need to soak your dry beans overnight in water. And what I did, this was a cup of chickpeas and then I cover it with water. This has been soaking since like five o'clock this morning. It's three o'clock now. So we've got plenty of time. And what I do now, I dump this water, get rid of this water. So we're just gonna have the chickpeas. And from here, I'm going to add the dry chickpeas to the pan that comes in the, um, what does it say? The Instapot. Again, you guys, love, love, love the Instapot. Make so many things with it. And beans, literally, I go for so many beans. I have them for at least a couple meals a day. There we go. So I put the dry beans in there and this beans are super, super inexpensive. So if you want to like ball on a budget and plant based on a budget, get dried beans, get yourself an Instant Pot because you will see how quickly we can make these. So anyway, so I put all the chickpeas in there. Now I'm just going to cover it with water. I've got filtered water in my sink. I can use this. And I literally maybe put, I fill it with water, but I put maybe like it goes about an inch over the chickpeas. That's how much water I, I use. Again, I started with one cup of dry chickpeas and then I soak them in water. They expand. So they're probably like two, two and a half cups in here. And then I added more water on top. I discarded the water the chickpeas were soaking in and then Add the chickpeas in here. I'm doing this from behind. I might have to walk around. I totally have to walk around. Hold up, please. There we go. This is so easy. All right, I'm just gonna move this over to the side so you can see it a little bit better. So I always wait to plug it in. So I'm plugging it in here. You've got to plug it into the electrical outlet and then in the back. See, this is all like real time. 
up, make sure it's on seal. I'm gonna come around here to the top again. Yes, seal. And then I'm going to turn it on. Hold up a second. Is this plugged in? There we go. Super easy. If, you, if it doesn't turn on automatically, then you know you did something wrong, just like I did. So it wasn't all the way plugged in. So here I've got options. Super broth, no, nope, I'm making beans. Meat or stew, no. Bean or chili, hello, that's what I'm making. Poultry, plant chicks does not, we don't do poultry. Uh, rice, multi-grain, porridge, or steam, interesting. Oh, you can saute in here, it's so freaking fabulous. So all I do is I push bean chili, takes 12 minutes, it says normal, with, uh, it's gonna cook at a normal temperature, high pressure, you can push like plus or minus and change it if you want to, but I don't. So you hear it? It's beeping, and now it starts. Marcia always talks about cooking everything on the rice setting. Since these are beans and they're starting out like from like dried beans, I will use the bean setting. This is really is between the bean setting and the rice setting is pretty much what I use. So while these cook, this, the next thing I'm gonna make is literally my go-to meal. We always have this and we'll, we'll have this little dish. We can use it for dinner, we can use it for breakfast, we can use it for so many different things. So I can't wait to share with you one of my favorite recipes and it's also one of my husband's favorites as well. We're gonna actually have this for dinner. And my husband flies out tomorrow. If he has breakfast before he flies out, he might actually make some savory oats with this as well. So on here I've got my tea ball pans. It's literally, it's in the carousel. I am warming up the pan, putting it like on eight-ish. I wish I had um, gas stoves because I love gas, but living in Miami in our high rise, we don't have those. And then, this is literally super easy peasy. Now, sometimes we're like healthy in a hurry and I don't have fresh everything, but one thing that you should know, frozen foods, you do want to get organic whenever possible, but organic, or I mean frozen foods, they're literally picked at peak ripeness and then they are processed immediately, right? And then they're flash frozen. So they're super, super nutrient dense. And I'm gonna come up here and read what, we're, what you guys are saying here. But they're super nutrient dense. So that's why sometimes I seriously love frozen. But this, <laughs> these are little garlic cubes. I do love garlic, so I will get like real garlic because really nothing does beat fresh garlic. But this is my favorite. You love your Instant Pot, is that Tiffany? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and thank you. Love it to fridge, hey, hey. All right, so each one of these little cubes, these garlic cubes, is like one clove of garlic. So if you know us, you know we like garlic. I'm actually gonna put three in here. And the reason I'm just stopping at three is because this mushroom medley, which my friends, this, I get this, I buy like a lot of these. These are from Trader Joe's. And whenever I go, I literally am buying packets and packets. I probably have about six of these in my freezer. And my husband, he always puts me on restriction. He's like, no more frozen foods. You gotta stop the madness. So I've got my pans on this, on the carousel. These silicone spatulas, those are also on the carousel, another Black Friday deal. And these are good. So what I'm doing is I'm just like melting, or not melting, melting. Well, it is kind of melting. I am just kind of getting the garlic to start cooking down, like brown just a tiny little bit. And then I'm just gonna literally open up both of these packages, throw them in there, mix them up a little bit. I'll put the pot, the pan, or the lid on, I'll let them heat up and then I'll come back to them and stir them occasionally. But I do want them to like cook and marinate for about 10 minutes. You'll see, but they have to like cook down like the, the spinach, I have to like break it up a little bit. All right, 
So this is pretty good. The garlic is like breaking up. So I've got, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the spinach and mushrooms, you guys. We need a smell button. It smells so freaking good. Garlic is so yummy. All right, so literally adding in a bag of the organic spinach. Now, if you live alone or if there's only a couple of you eating, you can always do like half of a package, but I literally, I like to just do the whole thing because I can eat off this for a couple days. And like I said, tonight, this is going to be our dinner. I actually got some frozen sticky rice for my husband and I. We're gonna have this tonight. I'm gonna share a couple things with you. But we're gonna have this little concoction of the spinach, the mushrooms, the garlic. We'll add the chickpeas in. Normally I would, like if I'm not gonna cook the chickpeas or cook any kind of beans, a lot of times I make this with black beans because it's just so good. But since I'm making chickpeas today, we're gonna add the chickpeas in here tonight. And if you are new to plant-based eating and you're a little bit scared of eating beans or having a lot of beans because you get a little gassy, let me tell you, chickpeas and also mung beans, M-U-N-G-B-E-A-N-S. I've got mung beans, those are listed on our Plant Chicks page. So after this live stream, you can head over to our Plant Chicks page, make sure you give us a follow, and then go to our list. Go to the list and you'll see like the food section, and we have different foods that we, like Plant Chicks staples. And one of them are mung beans and dried chickpeas, um, dried black beans. Like we've got all the different beans because we eat them all the time. But again, if you're newer to plant-based and you can't do as many beans as what we're doing, start with some of the least gassy beans, which would be the mung beans. Those are the least gassy beans out of all of them. But you want to start with the mung beans and the chickpeas. Those are the two beans that cause the least amount of gas and distension and bloating and embarrassment. Because when you gotta go, when you gotta toot, you just gotta toot and you're like, oh my gosh, you gotta run to the next place, but it's kinda hard sometimes. Anyway, so for dinner, we will have the sticky rice. I'm gonna throw these back in the freezer in a little bit. And this is something that I just have to share with you guys. I'm not gonna, I actually have one of these sitting out because I'm gonna have it for a smoothie tomorrow. This is mame. Mame, it's also called sapote in, so, in certain places, but literally, oh my gosh, this, you guys, if you know me, you know that I love dates. Dates are like nature's candy, but I have to tell you, this mame gives date, dates like a run for their money. It's super, super sweet, it's dense, so it's more filling. And I'm gonna add some of this to a smoothie that I make tomorrow morning. And I'll have to post a picture of the smoothie. So if you go to our Amazon page, and what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of getting the frozen spinach, because this is like a brick of frozen spinach. But once it kind of cooks a little bit, it can break up a bit. So I'm just kind of trying to break that down. And as soon as I have that broken down a little bit is when I will mix everything together a little bit more and then put, put the lid on it and let it, I'll turn down the heat a little bit and then I'll let this cook and then we'll get onto some chopping for the salad. This is like a little art. And you can add like toe raises, calf raises, you can do a little bit of workout while you're doing your cooking. It's kind of fun. You can turn on music, dance to your favorite tunes. My husband would laugh if he would see if he would come in and see me dancing. He totally would not be surprised because that is something I would totally 100% do. Love, love dancing. Dancing is good for your soul. So I'm just gonna put these back in the fridge, but again, Head over to our page. Make sure you give our plant chips page a follow here on Amazon. 
And you'll see like after Marcia does her meal preps with Marcia, she always takes a picture of her food. I gotta get better at that. I will take pictures of the plant plates that I make and also the plant blender, the smoothie that I make tomorrow morning with this amazing mame. I'll throw in some greens. Um, I might throw in some oats and we'll see. And chickpeas, because they're such a mild flavor, I actually will probably throw in maybe a half a cup of chickpeas in my smoothie tomorrow morning as well to add a little bit more protein. Why do I need more protein? Because I'm working out most days. I'm pretty much moving my body every day of the week. So that's a little bit more than average. And when you're working out a little bit more than maybe, like if you're working out a solid five, six days a week, you might need to just focus and make sure you're having a little tiny bit more protein. You don't need that much more. You don't need a protein supplement. You can get it from all your plant-based foods, I promise you. But you just need to make sure you're having beans or something that's higher in protein. So let's look at this meal right here. We've got mushrooms, spinach. I'm gonna also have chickpeas in here. But some of your higher protein foods are beans, obviously, nuts and seeds. And I might even have to throw on some like black seeds or something on here. Did you hear that? So the Instapot, it just buzzed and it's getting hot on the inside. So now it's actually starting to cook for those 12 minutes to cook at high pressure, those dry beans. And they're gonna be done cooking in 12 minutes and then it has to depressurize for about 20. So I'm not sure if it'll be done by the time we're done with this live. But guess what, my friends? I got you covered. I'm gonna get some pictures and I'll post it and I'll have a link to everything in here, of everything that you're gonna need. So this is seriously one of my go-tos. Like I said, we're gonna have this for dinner tonight with rice. I'm gonna make a big salad. I'm gonna cut up some veggies so that I have those available in my refrigerator. And if I get hungry, I can just go in and grab, I've got a little spinach here. I can go in and grab some cut up veggies and have that with some hummus. I'll make some hummus with that, that's hot. I'll make some hummus with the chickpeas later because I don't think they'll be done by the time we're done. But I will also post that recipe. So, I know what I should do. I've got some black garlic. I actually think I'm gonna add a little bit of black garlic. Black garlic, you guys, so yummy. It literally, it has an umami flavor. So it doesn't taste like regular garlic. And it, so it's, it just has a very unique umami taste, flavor. I'm actually gonna cut up a little bit of black garlic and add that. Mm, I didn't even think about that until I looked over and saw that goodness. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because I'm adding in this bad boy. And it's soft, I almost just wanna eat some right here in front of you, but I'm not gonna do that to you. <laughs> so I'm just peeling it. And it, I wish I could describe the smell because it smells different than regular garlic. I mean, it just it has an umami smell to it as well. It's like a savory deliciousness. I think this is gonna be a really, really good addition to this dish, I've never, added black garlic to it. I'm so excited actually. And I did get this black garlic at Whole Foods. So as you know, Amazon owns Whole Foods and you can always use Instacart, use your Prime membership to get, um, to get these goodness, to get these uh, black garlics. And literally, and this is, I'm like, like it's soft and mushy. And I need my reading glasses. I just got these contacts where I can see far away, but now I can't see. I'm 51, so now I can't <laughs> see up close. And literally, I'm just getting used to it. I just started wearing reading glasses last week, and I have to say I'm not happy about that part. So that sucks, but it is what it is. And where is my thing? I love this. This is also in the carousel. 
I learned this when I did my online cooking school, when I took an online cooking course. This little bad boy is, it's so awesome, I love it. All right, so I'm just going to stir this up a little bit. The spinach still is in little chunks, are bright. Now it is all nice and chopped up. Mmm, this smells so good. So yummy. All right, so I am going to cover this, put the lid on, and I'm gonna turn it down to like two, like three actually. So that is going to cook. Now, if you got, oh, there's a little bit of umami. Let's add this in here. I did my live, what day was it? It was earlier, oh, it was on Friday because Black Friday actually started on Friday, a couple days ago on Amazon. So I did a live on here on Friday and I linked, I talked about some of our favorite kitchen tools that are on Black Friday deals. So head back over to our Plant Chicks Amazon page. Scroll down, you can look at all the previous live streams and you can check out the one I did on Friday and they're like the one that's most recent will be on top. You get the idea. But scroll through that and you'll see all the different ones that I did. But I talked about having a good chef's knife. Having a good chef's knife is crucial. You really want to make sure that you've got a nice, solid, sharp chef knife. I'm going to rinse my bad boy off. We've got some linked in the carousel below. So rinse that off. And P.S. Be very careful with the knife. I was opening a cucumber and about stabbed myself. I've literally had to get stitches before. I'm just learning how to get better in the kitchen. I kid you not. I literally, this was many years ago, but I was doing something, I was cutting something and the knife went like right into my hand. And actually I was cutting an avocado here when I lived here in Miami a couple years ago. And I had to go to the emergency room Thank goodness, I don't think I had to get any, um, I don't think I had to get any stitches. I did have to get a tetanus shot though, and it was crazy, and they wanted to give me an antibiotic. I called a lot of my physician friends. I'm like, do I have to take an antibiotic? Because when you take an antibiotic, it destroys your gut microbiome, destroys, wipes everything out. But there are times in life where you have to take an antibiotic. And I, if I had to, I was going to, obviously. My health is number one, I'm not gonna end up have it getting super, super sick because I cut myself trying to slice an avocado and I wouldn't take antibiotics. That's not my jam. No, I will take an antibiotic if I have to, but I literally was calling my friends, my physician friends. I'm like, do I have to? Do I have to? I'll do it if I have to, but I really don't want to. And I had a couple of doctors and they were talking back and forth and they were like, no, you're actually okay. You don't have to, but watch. And if like, if it gets worse or whatever, if you notice inflammation, then you might need to get, you might have to get that prescription filled. So thankfully, I didn't have to take my antibiotic and I was able to save my gut microbiome and I'm trying to be more and more careful in the kitchen, especially with these knives. All right, so I'm going to make a salad. I'm actually also going to cut up some veggies. So in here, these are greenies. I know they're plastic, I know they're not glass, but these bad boys, these greenies, someone told me about them a while ago, but they actually do help to keep the food fresh longer. I don't know what they do, but they work. So I like to put my, my veggies and everything in there. I've got some lettuces, I've got some arugula, I have Organic Girl, the protein greens, just because, and what else? I've got like some other mixed lettuces in there as well. So I'm just gonna throw some of these in there. I don't know if my husband likes arugula, so I'm gonna be, I'll just put some in there. He is such a picky eater. 55 year old man, telling you what, he's worse than like a kid eater. And if he watches this, he'll, but I think he knows that I say that about him. He does now, right? <laughs> All right, so now I've got some organic, English cucumbers, I believe they're English cucumbers, the long skinny bad boys. 
I'm going to cut one up or probably maybe half of this up and I'm going to throw it in the salad because again, my husband, he flies out tomorrow morning. So this salad probably will just eat tonight. And if I maybe have a little bit left over, then we will, um, then I'll eat it tomorrow. So what I do, one thing, I cut off the ends, obviously, but keep in mind that any of your fruits and vegetables, the skin, it has a, it has a lot of the fiber, contains a lot of the fiber. It's like an apple. Instead of peeling an apple, you should eat the skin outside of the apple because that's where a lot of the fiber is. The fiber is how we increase our gut diversity. It, the fiber actually feeds the healthy gut microbiome. So it's feeding health, it's encouraging health within your body. So I do not peel my cucumbers and I do not recommend that you peel your cucumbers. Some people, you're like, you know what, Jackie, I tried, but I just can't, I have to peel them. All right, do you, but I really do recommend that you try and eat the skin. It's so freaking good. So here, I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. This is going to be interesting. So I always try, and my brother, my younger brother, he's amazing. He is literally a chef. And I, people laugh, first of all, my sister was always a flexible one, and here I am teaching yoga. I did get a little bit more flexible, but my sister is still way more flexible. And who is this? Hey, Lacey. Uh, and let me know where you guys are watching from. I'm coming to you live from Miami. But um, I never, never cooked growing up. And then here I am with plant chicks, and that's pretty much what we do is like teach you how to eat nourishing and healing foods. So we're doing a lot of cooking. And then I, my sister was a flexible one. I'm teaching yoga. My brother is a chef. And here I am teaching like this plant plates and learning how to like help make healthy meals. It's kind of comical. But you will see all of my food is healthy in a hurry. I don't do anything too extravagant. Every once in a while, I might get crazy and do something fun and fresh. But usually it's super easy peasy like this. All right, so when you cut, you really want a chef's knife. If you don't know how to cut, that can like really stop you from cooking and preparing really healthy meals. This is probably not the best idea because the cutting board is hanging over the edge. Do not do this at home. So anyway, when you use a chef's knife, you want to, like we won't even use the, the food yet, but you want to, the food will be here, and you want to think about pressing down. So you're cutting with the back end, and I forget the name of this part, but this, there's a name to this knife, but you're cutting with the back end and you're chopping. And as you chop, you're moving the food forward. Cut, 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 cut. So let's see. Let's see if I can do this and let's see. Let's, uh, let's see, do you guys think that I'm going to cut my finger or not cut my finger? Let's hear, let's see in the comments below. <laughs> so I cut it this in half. I cut the cucumber in half-ish and then the half again. And then you just go like that, and there's going to be a lot of men down. But if you watch like the professional chefs, you'll see that they do this so fast. And literally your fingers are supposed to be like this, but I'm not that good. And you just push it forward. That was already 12 minutes, I've been talking a lot. So now the Instapot, it is depressurizing. It needs to do this for about 20 minutes. So I leave it there. I love cucumbers, you guys. Love, love, love. So I'm going to add these cucumbers with this bad boy. Can you see? I can't tell if you can see or not. I can't see that far away. But I just add the cucumbers and the salad. My husband, he loves carrots. I could take carrots or leave them. They're not my favorite, but I'll eat them. So I'm going to put it in the salad. So I've got all my greens in here. I've got the cucumbers. I'm going to add some carrots. I forgot he likes olives. I need to grab some olives out of there. But I'm also going to cut up some peppers to add a little bit more color because what we want to do, you want to eat the rainbow. 
and you don't want to eat the rainbow of Skittles, right? We want to eat the rainbow in fruits and vegetables because all the colors represent different nutrients. And the more the merrier in the nutrients, the more the merrier in the colors when they're whole food plant-based colors because these are feeding your good, healthy gut microbiome. So we've got green and orange in here so far. And what I'm going to do, we don't have it yellow or red. So I'm gonna cut up a couple yellow and red peppers. But before I do that, I'm actually going to finish cutting this cucumber and it's gonna go in a greenies container because these are just gonna be some cukes that I can grab during the week, over the next couple days. Like literally, I will go through these. And more than likely what I'll do is one day for lunch, I'll make a crudite platter, so I'll have a bunch of different vegetables, and I'll have hummus that I'm gonna make with these chickpeas later, and I'll have that for lunch. And it's gonna be so freaking amazing. And you guys, making your own hummus, super easy. Marcia has done so on one of her meal preps with Marcia, and I'll do one eventually. Just gotta get a little bit better at getting this stuff done a little bit sooner. And my blend tech is a little bit loud too, so I don't wanna be to super annoying with that. All right, let me grab my gimmick yellow. Let me cut the other yellow one. And when I cut up these peppers, when I eat them with my crudite, I literally will just leave it like this and I'll dunk it in the hummus and eat. And then of course I just leave the little top and I won't eat that. So I'm actually gonna throw the rest of these peppers in the greenies just like that because they're gonna be good to go and I don't need to cut them up for my crudite when I eat it with the hummus. So that's gonna be one of my meals. So the mushrooms and spinach that I'm making over here, that's gonna be dinner tonight for my husband and I. We'll have some leftover, I'm making it with rice, and we'll also have a little bit of salad, but literally, we could have the spinach, the mushrooms with the chickpeas and rice, and that would be a full meal. But I'm gonna add a little bowl of salad for us as well. Um, and then like all that protein, literally, all these plants, they all have protein because you guys are always asking, well, where do you get your protein? Let me tell you, plants, every single plant has protein. Fruit has protein. Might not have a lot, but it has some, okay? But the foods that are highest in protein, like I was saying earlier, are mushrooms, beans, nuts, and seeds. So I try to have one of those foods with every meal. Every once in a while, if I don't feel like putting mung beans or chickpeas in my breakfast smoothie, or if I'm having oatmeal, then I actually might do um, a little bit of complement protein, which is a very, very clean protein. Absolutely love it. You go to their website, put in code plant chicks to save some money. But it's super clean and it's really freaking, it's just, it. It doesn't have a flavor, so it doesn't have the added fillers and all this stuff. So you're actually just getting some real good whole plant protein, which is amazing. All right, so I'm going to cut up this other cucumber. And because this is going to be with the crudite, I'm not going to cut it into these little dice-sized pieces. This is like the size for a salad. Am I being rude with talking with my mouth full <laughs> with the cucumber slice? This one, I'm just gonna cut like this. Because with the crudite platter, dunking it in hummus, I want a bigger piece. I can do a couple dunks of hummus. And y'all, when I make hummus, load it up with garlic, cumin, or say a luster smoked paprika, but I use tahini and I don't use any oil. You use the aquafaba, you know, the water that comes in the can or the liquid that comes in the can when you get chickpeas. The water that's in here, I'll use some of that. That makes it creamy 
and freaking so good. I actually, this is some hummus I had that I made earlier this week in my little granny's container, but it's so good. You might be wondering, why is it brown, Jackie? Well, Marcia, and I forget which live it was, it was so freaking hysterical. She was putting smoked paprika in something and the lid was, <laughs> you know, like that little plastic part on top of the spices, the lid was off and it like a ton of smoked pap paprika went in there. It was so freaking hysterical, but that happened to me with cumin. So this has a lot of cumin on it, but see, I like to put a lot of hummus on my cucumber. Mm. And thank God I do like cumin because this is very cumin-y and I use that black garlic as well. So I'm going to, even though it's just my husband and I at the house, I'm not double dipping. I'm actually putting the other end of the cucumber in the hummus to have a little bit more hummus. I wouldn't do that though if I was at your house, especially in the time of COVID. We can't do anything, right? It's kind of crazy. <laughs> All right. So let me throw in these cucumbers in this greeny. So we have here, I'm turning that off because that's about done. So I sliced up some veggies and this will be good for like a couple days. We're on Sunday, so this will last until Monday, Tuesday. I don't think it'll last longer than Tuesday. So remember, Wednesday I will do some more food prep, probably on Tuesday or something. Because Wednesday, I mean on Wednesday I might do a little bit of meal prep or whatever, but Thursday is Thanksgiving. If you guys are watching from the US, let me know where you're watching from. But I'm gonna be doing a live Thursday morning, Thanksgiving morning. I'm gonna do a workout at 10 o'clock in the morning, Central, 10 a.m. Eastern, sorry, 10 a.m. Eastern. I'm gonna do a little Thanksgiving workout because one of the things, it's Thanksgiving, and we're gonna have an incredible dinner. So my husband is flying, he is a pilot. He leaves tomorrow morning, and he comes home Thanksgiving afternoon, he gets home, whatever, like, but by the time he gets home, I'm gonna have Thanksgiving made for us. And guess what I'm making? I'm gonna do a live, also I'm gonna do two lives on Thursday on Thanksgiving. So the first is gonna be a workout because we've got to work out because we're gonna be eating a lot. And guess what, it's a holiday, you deserve it. Do like have a little extra, have fun, eat what you want, do not feel guilty about it, but get your workout in and then the next day, tighten it up, Wednesday, tighten it up. You're gonna eat nice and clean up until Thanksgiving, and maybe you'll have another treat another day or so after Thanksgiving, but figure it out, like plan it out. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So map it out, know what you're gonna do, and stick with it. I know what I need to do. I need to get some mush, I mean some olives. Where is this olives? Because my man, like some olives. So I'm going to, actually, let's do this. Do you guys have these spoons with like, you can get the liquid out? Because we have to have a healthy fat in the salad as well, or in the meal. There's really not any fat. I might add some avocado later too but I've already got some green in there, so it's not gonna be as colorful. And I'm gonna bring the salad over and I'm gonna talk about how this is a beautiful plant plate or plant salad. All right. And, mm, I love olives too. Did you guys used to do like for Thanksgiving? We used to have the black olives, like the big ones. <laughs> as a kid, I would put it on all of, I put it on all my fingers and I would go like this at the table. I'd be like clapping with my olive fingers. It was fun. I will never grow up. P.S. Okay, this is a salad that I made. Now, on the bottom, I've got so many different greens in there. So 
So I got arugula, I've got some mixed greens, I have the organic girl protein greens. So I've got a bunch of different greens in there. I put some carrots because my husband loves carrots. I've got, so that's the orange, the red, because remember we wanna eat the rainbow. The different colors stand for different functions and different nutrients and phytochemicals and all kinds of goodies. So we're hitting all areas because we've got literally pretty much every color in here. I'm just missing like white cauliflower. But you know what, I've got garlic in the, in the mushrooms and spinach, so we're good. All right, so we've got uh, orange, not orange, we've got red and yellow peppers, we've got cucumbers, so we've got a lot of green, and then we also have black olives. So we've got every nutrient covered in there. Now, if I wanted to just have this as a, as a, as a meal, then what I, I would do to make this a complete plant plate because you want to have you want to have all your you want to have protein taking up about 20% of your plate. You want to have vegetables, vegetables or fruit like vegetables like this taking up half your plate and you want to have like literally thinking about eating the rainbow. And then you want to have like a starchy carb like a potato, rice, quinoa, something like that and you also want to have a healthy fat. So the starchy carb maybe about 20% of your plate, 20, 25% of the plate, protein 20 to 25% of the plate, and then fat about 10% of the plate. And these numbers, they're all, you need to play around with them to see how your body responds. So your plant plate might look a little bit different than what my plant plate looks, all right? So if I wanted to make this salad and I wanted to have this as a meal. I got all the greens and all those veggies in there that I just cut up and showed you cucumbers and carrots. I'll add some sun-dried tomatoes. My husband doesn't like those, so I'll add those. More red. Um, peppers, olives. I'm gonna also add some avocado. But to make this an official plant plate, I'm missing a higher protein food. So I would add a half a cup of these chickpeas. And I'm also missing a carbohydrate, like a starchy carbohydrate. So more than likely, I would cut up some potatoes. My husband loves these little bad boys. So I would probably cut, uh, cook up some of these. Cook them at like 350 in the oven, and you can bake, you can like saute them in low sodium veggie broth. Like cook them in a little little can, a little pan, and for like 30 minutes, and it's super good. And that, my friend, would be a full 100% plant plate that has literally everything. You've got staying powder, power. Um, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna make an avocado dressing. That's what I'll do. So I'm gonna do an avocado dressing. It's gonna be literally avocados, garlic, and it might be that umami garlic, the black garlic, and add some water to like thin it out a little bit. But it's going to be super, freaking delish. So here we go. We've got a bunch of meals. I'm not gonna cook up the rice right now because my, I don't think my husband and I are ready for dinner. I'm speaking for myself. I'm not ready for dinner yet. But I've got the spinach and mushrooms and garlic. I'm gonna add some of these chickpeas, probably a lot of them. I'm not gonna add the liquid from the chickpeas, but I'll add the chickpeas for even more protein. And the spinach and mushroom mix together, it's already super high in protein because mushrooms are high in protein. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna have that with the rice and the chickpeas. And then for breakfast tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have this mix, the spinach, the mushrooms, and the chickpeas but I'm gonna have it with oatmeal and I'm gonna have some savory oats and you know what's even better with savory oats is you top it with a little sriracha or Tabasco. My husband actually does not like sriracha, but I'm gonna add this on top. I'll probably add it on top tonight too because I love this stuff, but I'll have that for breakfast tomorrow. And then also for lunch, I'm gonna make a crudite platter. I'll probably finish this hummus over the next day or two. So I'll have this hummus with these veggies. I might cut up some more vegetables. I want dinner tonight. We're also gonna have this. And then for dinner tomorrow night, I'll probably finish this salad, cook up some potatoes to go along with it, 
and I'll add that and it's also I'm also going to have some of those chickpeas in here so these meals this is going to last for a couple days and see how I like change it up a little bit oh and then the next day Wednesday because that's Monday Tuesday Wednesday I'm going to make a smoothie and in my smoothie the fruit one of the fruits I'm going to use is this mame that I was talking about earlier so freaking good it's so good it's like sweet like a date like this gives date a run for its money so freaking good that good so i'm gonna have some greens whatever greens i have and sometimes i just use frozen spinach too but i'll have this a little bit of lemon because lemon or peppers i need to get more peppers but uh it, with let me back up greens are super high in iron but the iron found in plant foods it's called a non-heme iron and non-heme i gotta put this back in the fridge because it's fine and it's freaking cold my hands are frozen but um non-heme iron it's not as easily absorbed in your body so what do we do to make it more easily absorbed we add something that has vitamin c in it lemon is high in vitamin c peppers are high in vitamin c and literally if you add just a couple peppers to your smoothie you can't taste it it doesn't taste like peppery or anything but the vitamin c in those foods will help absorb the iron that's found in the spinach or whatever greens i'm using in my smoothie and it's going to be super delish so wednesday morning i'll have that smoothie and i am going to also this is super easy bread every once in a while this is actually sourdough bread I don't go through bread super super fast so what I do is I always put it in the freezer and then it stays longer and my you guys I on my live the other day I was talking about don't use these plastic bags but I don't have big huge uh, silicone stasher size bags this is the only size I have so I have to use these gallon size bags don't shoot me all right so I've got to get some big size of these silicone bags but anyway, I freeze sourdough bread and I'll just literally take out a slice because it's like a huge piece. I'll cut it in half. And y'all, if you have not tried these bad boys, Dr. Prager's California Burgers, oh my God, you're missing out. They're so freaking good. My mother, who's a huge, she loves meat. She is not plant-based. She doesn't want to be plant-based. That's okay, mom. You don't have to be. She loves these. She loves, loves, loves. If you love dairy and you want a good, like a cheeseburger, let me tell you what you can do. Make one of these, put it on sourdough bread. Sourdough bread is amazing for your gut microbiome. Feeds those good, healthy gut microbes. So will this bad boy. But instead of cheese, avocado. Totally, totally serious. My sister taught me that when she was doing Weight Watchers or something before because cheese, first of all, dairy, <clears throat> dairy was the last animal product I gave up. So if you love your dairy products and that's the one thing holding you back, I gotcha. I totally understand because that was me. Cheese was one of the last things, but it was the uh, cream in my milk, the half and half, that was the very last thing I gave up. Not in my milk, in my coffee. but um. Let me tell you, uh, my sister, she, when she was doing Weight Watchers, she was like, Jesus, it's too many points. I can't eat it. But you know what's not? Avocados. So she ended up putting avocados on her burgers or whatever sandwich where she normally would have cheese. And let me tell you, game changer. Because avocados are creamy and delicious. They're high in fat, but they're healthy fats. And the fat is attached to fiber. That's where the magic is. There's absolutely no fiber in dairy products, in chicken, in your turkey for Thanksgiving. There's in no animal products. If it comes from an animal, if it has a mother, there's no fiber. So having your fat attached to fiber elevates the fat. That's why we're having some olives, high in fat, but guess what else it is? 
It's got some fiber in there, so I'm just feeding my gut microbiome. So that's good. Winning, winning, winning. But literally, putting avocado on here, mm, game changer, super good. So I'll do that for lunch, and then I gotta think of a dinner. I'll probably do some more crudite for like lunch, and then I'll do this for dinner. Actually, no, I'll do this for lunch, and then crudite for dinner because literally, I like to try and have my bigger meals for breakfast or lunch. And more of the time, most of the time it's gonna end up being lunch. So I really don't get hungry until like 10 a.m. So think about this. If you are struggling with your weight, if you're wanting to lose a little bit of weight, let me ask you something. Uh-oh, something's up with my freezer. Oh, here we go. I thought I broke it. Wish that would be a first. But listen, if you're struggling with your weight, let me ask you a question. You can type in the comments. When are you most active during the day? And when are you the least active? The reason I'm asking is if you have a bigger lunch or even a bigger breakfast and you have a smaller dinner, I'm gonna close these a little bit, see if it gets a little bit less dark here for me. Anyway, think about this. If you eat breakfast, a bigger breakfast, you have all day to burn off whatever you're eating because you're running around, you're more than, hopefully you're not just sitting there. If you are sitting, if you've got a desk job, I want you to set your alarm every hour, hour and a half so you can get up, do some jumping jacks, move your body, do a little plant chick dance break, do something, but get your body moving. And also lunch, if you have a bigger lunch, then you still have the rest of the afternoon to burn off a lot of the food that you ate. You just have time to like let it settle, right? But dinner, if you eat a big dinner, what do you do after dinner? More than likely you're sitting on your computer or you're watching TV or maybe you eat dinner and you go to bed. But that, that's not good. That's not good at all. So really, we're trying to retrain our tribe to eat more in line with your circadian rhythm. And what does that mean? That means once it starts getting lighter outside, that's when you want to start eating. And then as the sun is setting, as it starts to get dark outside, you want to try and stop eating around that time. I know with the time change, it's a little wonky right now, and that would be eating a really early dinner. But still, if you could get dinner in by like before seven, that'd be good. And then you've got a couple hours to let your body start digesting and absorbing and doing its thing. And then you can shut it down for the night because your sleep, first of all, your sleep, oh, your sleep is so good for you. If you're having difficulty sleeping, you've got to look into that. Try maybe start an evening routine because our sleep is when our body rebuilds, renews, regenerates. That's when all the magic happens. So you really want to make sure that you are getting good sleep so that you can be your best self and that your body it can function the way it's meant to function. So sleep is like super, super, super critical. And again, eating your bigger meals for breakfast or lunch. For me, I'm trying to make it lunch because like I said, breakfast, I'm not super hungry for. I don't really get hungry until like 10. But if I can have a bigger meal around like one, maybe two o'clock, and then have like something lighter, like I really wanna try and have my lighter meal in the evening by like 6.30 or 7. And you see what we're having for dinner tonight. But I can't even remember what I ate today. What'd you guys eat today? Can you remember? Let's hear. But uh, what have I eaten today? I honestly cannot remember. I think I've only had one meal. Have I snacked anything? Well, you saw me snacking a little bit here. All right, I'm rambling. So you guys, Marcia is going to come on. She's gonna do a live tomorrow. Make sure if you're new to our Amazon, to our Amazon Live, head over, look for us, Plant Chicks on Amazon. Give us a follow. Go in your settings. If you haven't already turned on your notifications and your settings on Amazon, do that. You'll get alerted when we go live. We go live a lot talking about meal prep with Marcia, plant plates with Jackie, that's me. Uh, we do workouts. I'm doing a workout on Tuesday and Thursday morning. So just, Follow our page, come join us on more lives. Let us know what you'd like to see. Let us know if there is like a meal that you want us to plant chick, like plant chick it out. If like 
If you have a higher fat meal, if you have a meal, there's like a buzz flying. If you have a meal that maybe you cook with oil, because we try and do pretty much SOS free, not 100%, but we're pretty close. So salt, oil, and sugar free. We don't add any of those products for the most part when cooking. So instead of using oil, we'll use low sodium veggie broth or water to saute foods in. Um, and we don't add really any added sugar. We'll use like dates or something nice and sweet instead of regular sugar. Again, keeping the fiber in there, keeping it yummy, keeping it nutritious. But if you have a recipe that you love and it's, you know it's not healthy, shoot us an email, let us know. We'll try and plant chick it out. We can always plant chick things out. So that's always fun for us to do too. All right, so Marcia will be live tomorrow. She's gonna to be talking Black Friday deals. I think she's going live at noon central, so one o'clock Eastern. But again, head over to our Plant Chicks Amazon page. Give us a follow. And I hope you to see you on Marcia's live tomorrow from her kitchen. And then Tuesday morning or Tuesday afternoon, every Tuesday I'm on doing a yoga workout. So bring your yoga mat. You will also need yoga bands because I'm doing a lit yoga. This is gonna be new in our rotation. So low impact interval training. We're seeing and I are launching a beautiful lit program, but I'm gonna be doing a lit yoga for you guys on Tuesday morning and also again on Thanksgiving morning. So before we eat and have all this delicious food on Thanksgiving, come work out with me, 10 a.m. I'm actually going to Whole Foods right before that, picking up our vegan Thanksgiving dinner that I'll be cooking for my husband. And I'm gonna be doing a live later that afternoon, cooking everything that I got at Whole Foods for our Thanksgiving so you can see it. And if you are looking for some good things to eat, look, or it's like some good plant-based foods for Thanksgiving, go to our Happy Plants Giving Amazon Live freaking amazing. Everything we made in there was so good. We made, oh my God, the sweet potato casserole. So freaking good. So was the green bean, the walnut. I can't make the for my husband because he he's allergic to walnuts, but that green bean casserole, holy moly, smack your mama good. But these pecan, pecan tartlets, oh my gosh, so good. And literally, made a ton of these. I made these like a week ago. I put them in my freezer. And this is a super nourishing and healing, healthy dessert. It's dates, walnuts, and pecans. That's it, girl. That's it. So super good. Has It's good in good healthy fats and fiber and protein, actually. So this is just deliciousness. Mm, so good. A little bit of salt. In the walnut crust. All right, my friends. So you see all the food that I'm gonna have over the next couple days. I just meal prep. I got food in here for the next three days. I'm good through Wednesday, and then on third, I'm going to the grocery store Thursday morning to pick up my um, vegan whole or vegan whole foods, vegan Thanksgiving from Whole Foods. I'll cook that for you on Thanksgiving around 12 or 1. I can't remember. It'll be on our Plant Chicks page on here on Amazon. So come cook with me. And I want to know what you guys are cooking, what you're doing, where are you watching from, and what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Let us know. All right, guys. Have an amazing Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. And rock out with your rock out. That's what we do here at Plant Chicks. And we always do a Plant Chicks dance party. I can't believe I didn't really get one in today. But here I am now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Have an amazing day. Bye, guys.